Hey everyone, it's Parker021. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and use the Redontech radio system. Uh, this is just a very basic radio system with support for multiple channels and text slash voice communications. So uh, let's get into it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over to the GitHub. This is actually just an outdated GitHub page. Um, but down here somewhere there should be a link to the documentation when you click on that. We'll open up the documentation like this. Now we are going to use the documentation because this video may be outdated in the future. So if you eat, if you see any new steps in the documentation that you don't see in this video, make sure to follow those steps. And we're going to go up here and click on setup, and we're going to go ahead and read this. So we have a warning that the system, while it is in full release, there are still bugs in it um, due to the developing audio APIs and just the lack of good documentation on them, which has resulted in some minor bugs and issues that may pop up here and there. Uh, if you find any, feel free to create an issue on the GitHub, which you can do by clicking there. It will open up a page where you can create a GitHub issue, and we'll look into fixing it. Um, so we'll see the requirements. So it tells us to get the Roblox model. So we click that, and then we hit Get Model, you know, like we would with any other model. Um, or we can download the latest RBXM file from the GitHub page. Um, which you can get by clicking on the assets and uh, downloading this RBXM file. Um, personally, I would just use the Roblox model, um, but you can also use the RBXM file if you want. Um, in your studio, you should already have teams set up that we can be that we can use in our configuration, and uh, we should have a basic knowledge on how to set up systems. AKA, like you have set up things in the past and you know how to edit settings and place them in the right place and stuff like that. Installing the system. Well, installing is really easy. We're just going to simply drag and drop the provided folder into a server script service. So let's do that. So we're going to open up the uh, Roblox Studio file. Go to our toolbox, our inventory. Um, in this case, I'm going to go to Group Models. And you can see here, uh, Read them Tech Radio System. We're going to click on that. We're going to click OK. And we'll see that the system has loaded in. Now we can safely go ahead and drag and drop this into Service Script Service. I'm going to delete that old one in there. <laughs> and you'll see that we, um, when we open this up, we have a settings script and this system script. Now all of this stuff you never want to touch. This is all stuff done uh, by me. Uh, it's a nightmare and it's a mess, which is why we don't touch it. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the settings script and we're going to go through the settings. And we can also follow along with this in the configuration part of the documentation. The documentation can be kind of complicated because there is actually a lot of settings to go over. Um, but we will try to make the best sense of it. Okay, so finding the configuration module. We already did that. And then we have configuration explained. So let's go through this. So we have settings set channels. This is just the channels that the system will set up and that can be used by teams. So and see here by default we have a main tactical one tactical two police and fire channels i'll go ahead and leave this the same but if you ever want to remove or add a channel you can simply do that by removing it or creating a new one by adding it back like so you can also just simply copy and paste this template and just change all the stuff within the template so we can change this to five and uh fire make sure you have a comma at the bottom of this so that way you can prevent errors and just make sure that there's no red line so for example if there wasn't a comma there you'd see this red line right here and you just have to add that comma right there okay so that's channels now we see how many messages can be stored channel history so this one is kind of interesting and it's a bit difficult to explain um but what this is um when the player joins the team this is just how much of the history of the chat system should they receive from every channel. Um, by default, it's 100. Uh, I would just leave it at 100. Honestly, there's really no reason to change this unless you have like really bad server lag problems and maybe set it to zero. But honestly, I would just leave it at 100. And we can see that same explanation down here. OK, so now we move on to access. This controls what Teams users have access to what channels. This entire section follows the same format. The format is a either we have a table of numbers, the table of numbers is the channel IDs that they have access to, or it's a Boolean where true is access to all channels and false is access to no channels. So if we go in here, by default, 
we have our um, default settings default set to false. Now settings default, as we can see explained right here, is just simply controls what play what channels players will have access to when they are not on a team or a user with channel set. So this would be like the civilian team or any other teams that aren't defined here. But we're going to go ahead and leave that as false because we don't want people that don't have access to the system to be getting the system. And then next thing we have is settings.teams. So by default, we actually have a police and fire team already set up for us. But I'm going to go ahead and remove that and just show you guys how to add that because you can see here we actually also have the same team set up. We have a police and fire team. So we're going to go ahead and copy the team name, paste it in there, make it equal to um, a table, and then we're going to set the values to 1, 2, 3, 4, because we want every single one of these to have all three channels, and then each team to have their individual police or fire channel. So in this case, we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, and that will give us access to channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, and channel 4. Now we're going to add our trailing comma. Make sure you have that comma there, otherwise it will error. Copy, paste, and then we're going to go grab our other channel name, or sorry, team name. And then we're going to change this last one from 4, which is for police, to 5, which is for fire. So we'll change that to 5. And then in our users, we can go ahead and set like an admin who have a specific channel. So in this case, I'll just put like othermost et124. Or we can also go on uh, Web Roblox. Click on their account and copy the user ID here and paste that in there instead and set that to true. I'm going to actually remove that because I don't want to have the channels by default so I can show you um, the different teams. Or you can just completely remove this in general and then you won't have any users at all. So that's what I'm going to do in today's video. I'm just going to leave it completely empty. And then when we scroll down here, we have a UI configuration, which if we come over here, this is. Oh, click on that. Ah, there we go. Configuration relating to the UI of the radio. We have our UI position. So this is where it should be on the screen. As you can see, the, def the possible values are top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. If you set this to anything else, it will just default back to top left. I'm going to leave it at its default, which is top left. But if you want to change it, you could here. Override UI position. Uh, this is really only for UI designers. There should be no reason that you ever have to touch this unless you want to change its position on the screen. <clears throat> okay, and then we have our audio section. Now, the audio is what will be played whenever the user, for example, receives a message in their active channel. Whenever they try to activate voice communications while someone else is still using the air. Whenever the player presses down the key to activate their voice, or the exact opposite of key down. Now, by default, these are set to use, uh, sorry, audio IDs that I have uploaded, um, which means that you will likely need to re-upload these audios, but you can do so as I have provided the website where I got these audios from. You can see you can copy this link and paste it in. And then we have this website here with uh, radio sounds. So by default, I use this MDC 1200. Oh, it's loud. And then I also use this emit a tone on key up. Yeah, I, I turn those down in post production most likely so it doesn't like destroy your eardrums. Those are the default sounds I used. And uh, you can see that here. So you can go ahead and re upload those if you want. If you don't want sounds at all, you can just set these to false. In my case, I like the sounds, so I'm going to leave them on. And then we have our chat configuration, which, as explained here, when the game uses the new text chat service, meaning when the game has that version set to text chat service, this will allow you to override the window enabled. Um, so in that case, that would be overriding this chat window configuration dot enabled to false whenever the user is on a team with the radio with radio access. So that way, it doesn't get in the way of the UI. Okay, so now that we've configured the system, we want to, first off, for the audio portion of the plugin, we want to make sure that we have Use Audio API set to Enabled in Voice Chat Service. If you don't see this, you need to go up to Model at the top, and then click on Service, and then Find Voice Chat Service, and click Insert. And then you can go ahead and set that to Enabled. 
Once we have done that, we can go ahead and publish our game to Roblox. And publish our game to Roblox. And then we can go to our Roblox game and hit play. Okay, thank you, Roblox, for crashing on launch. That's very, very, very nice. There we go. <laughs> yeah, you can see once we're in game here, first off, we have our working audio chat. And then we can go ahead and click on our police team. This is my team changer. And you can see we get our radio. Now, the size is pretty large by default. Um, I may change this in the future. But uh, you can see if we hit T on the keyboard or we click on this button, we can, uh, well, you should be able to click on it. I guess you can't. That's weird. Okay. If we hit T on our keyboard, we can type in something in the chat. And we can see that it pops up. Very, very awesome. And then we can also, if we turn on our microphone here and hold Y, we can actually talk to everybody else on the channel, no matter where they are within the map. And that is holding it down. So that's for the mic feature. And if I actually, if I had somebody else here with me, which I do not because they went AFK, it seems like, uh, I would be able to demonstrate this, but there's nobody with me to demonstrate this. So I can't, but this should work. Um, other than the fact that these buttons don't work, which I will make sure to fix before the official version one release. This is the Redon Tech video system and yeah you can switch channels by simply clicking on the channel and you can see you can type in multiple channels whatever and then if i switch to the fire team i no longer have access to that police channel so there's no longer any of that data in it so there you go i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like uh the work that i do and you like all the open source and free technology that i make uh, join our Discord down below and just say thank you. It's, uh, it means a lot. And yeah, subscribe, like, do whatever. Spread awareness about this amazing radio. And see you guys in the next video.